Hey guys, so we are out here at Aldora Speedway for uh, the World 100 right now. And, uh, well, you can probably tell by the title, uh, I'm going to go look for the mile because I am interested in that. I've heard stories about it and I would really like to check it out because it would be cool to see. So I just drove out here to uh, pretty close to the location. I'm going to get out and go look. So, uh... For those of you who are unfamiliar with the story of the Eldora Mile, uh, basically uh, after Earl Baltus uh, saw the success of his half mile track, he decided to try and build a, a mile track. And uh, I don't know exactly what his goals were there to uh, try and attract. He was trying to attract some series, but uh, at the time, bigger was better. He came out here and he carved this mile. We were just talking to a local who lives about a half mile down the road here. But uh, he was uh, saying that he was talking to Earl Baltus. So Earl built this mile track out here. He carved it into the land. And uh, they came out here and they tested on it once. And uh, they had, I believe, the uh, story goes it was a sprint car. That's a legend, but who knows. Um, uh, they came out here, tested it, and it was fast. And... Uh, Rumor has it that it was too fast and whatnot, and so they didn't. Uh, cont they stopped building it. But actually, what I was told was happened was uh, the track's not too far from the Wabash River, and uh, nature con uh, con I can't say it controversy. You know what I'm trying to say? Con conservatory uh, shut them down too close to the river, and they can't uh, have motor vehicle racing out here. It looks like you can see the banking right in there, right through there. Uh, if you look on Google Earth, that appears to be uh, either 1 and 2 or 3 and 4. I don't know which was the front stretch and which was the back stretch. But uh, it's uh, soybeans right now. I'm going to either walk up that side, or I know the, someone's driveway goes right alongside it, but I, I don't want to be trespassing. That's why I left my car back there. So, uh, well, I was walking the other side, but curiosity is killing me. So I found a nice little opening in the beans gonna try not to kill as many as possible because these farmers is how they make a living but uh hopefully i don't get in trouble like i said i don't want to be trespassing but want to come check this out and oh my goodness let me get a couple more steps up here wow i don't know how well the camera's picking that up it's kind of bright out here so i can't see the screen but you can see the banking all along there Right now, like I said, we're on top of either 1 and 2 or 3 and 4. And, uh, sorry, I'm trying not to step on plants right now, because like I said, this is how these guys make a living. But, uh, wow. You can see right along through there. Let me see if I can find my finger right there. Track comes around. Down through there. Just amazing. Got here closer. Still walking down. And, wow, breathtaking. And here we are at the bottom. Wow. Just for perspective, I'm about uh, six foot tall. I'm probably holding the camera like five, six, somewhere around there. And uh, that's how tall it is. Looks like there's got to be 10 foot of banking there, 12, somewhere around there. Holding the camera straight. This is pretty cool. just looking at this place it's got a lot of banking for a mile track it doesn't have as much as the half mile but it's also over 30 years old and it uh it was never really completed so who knows what this would have turned into I cannot believe how much banking there is on these straightaways. I don't know if maybe 
that's where we plan on putting grandstands because that's easily 12, 15 foot tall. I'd imagine that there was a lot more banking out here when he originally built this. Just after 30, 40 years, like I said, I don't remember exactly when he built it, maybe even 50 years ago. But that's a lot of erosion, and especially in a bean field or corn, whatever they're growing that year. But this is this is pretty cool. cool. Like right here, this is like looking at turn one at Eldora from the pit area. This little hill right here. Well, I guess that's really all there is to this. I, uh, I'll end the video right about here. Last look sees here from uh, up top of the banking of one of the straightaways. And uh, yeah, I'll send you guys off. Thanks for checking this out. I uh, just out here on an adventure and figured that other people might want to check this out too.